Remember, I have a video that explains to you how the Oracle of Dodona, how the Oracle of Delphi, how the Oracle of Pythia, how the Oracle at Olympia ran. These ancient oracles were in, was a vast, very well put together intelligence operation. Remember, I have a whole video explaining how it all worked. They are not divining. They were not predicting the future. They weren't doing anything. <clears throat> We have enough fragments from all the ancient Greek writers that told us how these oracles work for us to put it together. And we know now that when people came and gave their treasures, gifts, money, wealth, goats, herds, and they came and they offered it to the, the, the oracle, they were always made to wait three to seven days, sometimes 14 days. The oracle, depending upon the nature of the question. The oracle would make them wait. But on a daily basis, runners from oracle to oracle were, were trading intelligence. On a daily basis, a runner would make it to the Dodona oracle. And the priests would secretly go through all the dispatches. And they would see everything that was being recorded in the other five or six oracles. They had intelligence from every region, even information about what was going on outside of Greece. Agents of the oracles were, were hanging out at all the shipyards and ports and all, all the places where sojourners and travelers occupied. Yeah, they would go out and routinely get, give a copper or they would, buy a, they would buy somebody some water or some cheese or some bread or wine and then just to give them news from overseas. Hey man, what's going on in Carthage? What's going on over there in Joppa? Hey, I, he I heard things weren't going well in Egypt. What's happening? They were trained to do this. Information, tremendous, tremendous amounts of data were being filtered to the oracles and even from the other oracles because the oracles were getting information that nobody had. Because in order to question the goddess, in order to bring your inquiry into the oracle, the oracular priest had, had sold you some bullshit that you had to come with clean hands. And that means you had to divulge everything that you knew about what you were asking. And they would take this information and send it to all the other oracles. This is what's happening over here in Anatolia. This is what's happening over here in Ionia. The city of the city of the city of Mytilene is going through some chaos, and they got a lot of migrants and problems. And things are about to collapse over there. And then another oracle would find out that a banker in Mytilene was thinking about pulling all his holdings out and was asking the goddess if that was a good idea. And then another oracle would have would have information from a Macedonian who was already in league with Thracians who were talking about raiding the city of Mytilene and if the goddess was going to give them license to do that. Nothing divine here, nothing supernatural. The oracles of the ancient Greek world were intelligence operations and that's how they flee that's how they made their money they were very good at what they did now <clears throat> the reason i'm telling you this <clears throat> i'm calling to your attention this video i did a year ago is because the oracles of dodona pythia olympia uh what's another one uh oh the most famous one the oracle of delphi yeah guys not a hint of the Zodiac at those temples has been found. No artwork, no anything. There are no traditions concerning uh, any of the oracles even using the Zodiac to divine anything. That was not done because the Zodiac was unknown when those oracles were in operation. And when those oracles had given their books over to keepers after the fall of those oracles and the, and the oracles had been raided by Roman armies, yeah, guys, until Rome surfaced, those oracles were considered a holy ground and foreign. Even the Persians didn't sack the, the oracular temples. But the Romans did. Up until the Romans. <laughs> Excuse me. And that's when, that's when the Sibyls put all their knowledge into, into books. In the Sibylline, the Sibylline oracles, in the, in the books of the Sibyl became a thing. There were copies of it in the Roman Senate. But in the books of the Sibyls, there's no mention of a Zodiac. <coughs> 
that's a problem. Okay, so we have, <clears throat> of all the ancient Greeks, we have more information through Callisthenes and others about the life of Alexander, the, uh, Alexander of Macedon, who finally sat on the throne of Babylon and became Alexander the Great. We have more data about him than anybody else. And guess what, guys? Nothing. Nothing from the 3rd and 4th century B.C about a knowledge of the Zodiac. Nowhere in any of those traditions. That's embarrassing. That's totally embarrassing.